wicked, wicked, wicked. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to get back to this idea that I had the other day about like people's like the reason why they train. It's like in like people being in love with the process of training and just in love with the gym in general and enjoying bodybuilding or working out, whatever it is, not you know to be a competitive bodybuilder, but it's just like it's like we were talking yesterday, even though this won't be yesterday in this video, but just talking about how like it's like almost people today have lost the reason why they train. They don't, they don't do it because they love it. Like I would still be here training every day if I wasn't making videos and trying to help people. I would still be here and I've been here doing this for two, over two decades now. So it's like, it's not like it's something that's a part of my life. So I would just do it, but it's just fascinating to me. Like I don't, I don't understand people's motives. I think bodybuilding needs to get back to like true bodybuilding, not like these fucking clowns who flitter around the gym and take selfies of each other. Like I got no issue with those people. Just stay the fuck away from me. Like you're in your own world. I'm in my world. Like there's two separate worlds we're looking at here. It's like dedicated lifters and bodybuilders and like the rest of the, cr the crowd, the clown crew, whatever that is, right? Do your thing. We'll like, we'll tolerate you and do what you gotta do. Everybody should have their, their fun, whatever, but it's like on this channel and on what who I'm talking to, when I talk in these videos, is I'm talking to like those few, like that group of the few that's left in bodybuilding. So like you wanna name it, whatever you wanna name it. I've thought of different things to say that like kind of label what it is and the people that I'm talking to. There's like all these different ideas floating around, but it's just like, it's basically like the wicked few people left in this sport who literally live and breathe and, and love this sport. They're not like telling everybody they know about everything they're doing or fucking posting their food or their prep journey or their this or that. They're just living the life and they enjoy it and this is what they do. And there's a lot of you who have reached out to me online through Instagram, a lot of, they comment on a lot of my posts on private messaging and a lot of stuff on YouTube, guys reaching out to me, guys who are around my age, maybe a little younger even, even new guys and girls starting to train. It's like, you're the people I'm speaking to. I don't care about the rest of these other people. I never have, and I never will. It's not my desire to be loved by everybody. I don't care, I really don't. So it's like, if you don't like me, you don't like what I have to say, you can change the channel. But like the people that fuck with me and know what I'm saying, and you guys watch the videos and you know what I'm talking about. Like you understand what I'm getting at. There's a message below the message, if you understand what I'm saying. So it's like, we're trying to like, bring this atmosphere of like, bodybuilding being great. We're trying to bring that back where it was like, it wasn't this like flashy thing where I like come in and I set up my tripod and I try and make sure my fucking, my beard's shaped up for every fucking thing and my hair's cut and my tank top looks perfect because it matches my fucking shorts and my shoes. It's like people that just like to lift and like, like to put in the work and like the ones who get on stage, like put the work in to improve, get on stage and improve every year. It's not just doing shows or like competing to just do shows because you don't know what else to do with yourself. So, so I'm trying, I need people to understand like these are the people that I'm talking to. And if you're someone who's new to the sport and you're gravitating towards what I'm saying, just understand that you're gravitating towards something that's real. It's not something that's fake. There's no fake shit going on here. There's no like, I'm not putting out, the reason why I don't put out programs, I don't do this and that, because I'm not here to like money grab people. I'm not here to like dangle some carrot in front of you and be like, oh, I have the secret, but oh, you gotta pay this and that to get it, right? It's like, no, I'm gonna put the information out there, the information people don't want you to hear, and they're gonna, I'm gonna tell you how it is. You can either take that, you can take that and do whatever you want with it doesn't matter to me like I know what I'm saying is true I know what I'm what I preach works so it's like at the end of the day it's like it's up to you whether you want to digest that or get rid of that right so because I'm still gonna be doing what I'm doing and people are still gonna be getting better around me and people are still gonna be getting better to follow me and that's the goal right is to help everybody even people I personally train or people I do videos for online, like on YouTube, and they write me saying that I'm helping them with this, helping them with that. 
that's the goal of all this, and that's what the goal should be for everybody. It shouldn't be turning a buck. I'm like, oh, you know, now that you follow me, make sure you also follow dot da 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 products and like use them and do that and fucking I use this beard oil and all this stuff. It's like, get the fuck out of here, man. Like, what does that have to do with lifting? What does that have to do with like real bodybuilding and being in the gym and and trying to get better and like living in the culture of like being around people who want who are like minded like that? Like, where have these people gone? Because I don't see many. I'm in a gym every day, and I can honestly tell you, I don't see many. So, like, if you're out there online, you're out there watching this, I post this on Instagram or YouTube, just understand that, like, we're creating a community here where it's like, there's a wicked few of us. And yeah, less is more. So there's plenty of us. You guys just need to speak up and make yourself known, right? And, like, you don't have to be cool with all this shit that's going on in your gym. Someone's got a tripod set up in your way and you're trying to work out, kick that fucking thing over. Just boot it right out of the way. This is Sparta! Just be like, yo man, I'm like, this is a this is a gym, I'm trying to work out. Like this isn't fucking uh, we're not filming a reality show here. And like, you know what I mean? People like they should know better. And no one knows better anymore. Because bodybuilding's gone soft. Not that you should be running around the gym and intimidating people and getting people's face. Just like, no, like if someone's not acting right in the gym setting, tell them they're not acting right. Because the same shit would happen anywhere to any other sport. If you went to play a pickup game of basketball and some guy broke out his camera mid, mid game and started filming on the court, someone would check him over. Like they'd body check him over, right? And that shit doesn't happen in bodybuilding because everyone's so fucking like, oh, oh, they're just like, oh, like, and I understand that. Let people live, let them do what they got to do. But like, there's no presence in gyms anymore. There's no air of like, oh, you go in that gym, don't fuck around. Or like, you go in that gym, like, you know, that's where the big, that's where the big dudes are. Like, you gotta watch yourself. You gotta like, if they're using a machine, you might just wanna find another machine. Or ask to work in, but don't just assume and take over the set, right, or whatever. And that's, that might be, so a lot of people are gonna hear that. This guy's like, oh, he's promoting being a bully and blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, I'm just promoting what's like, what's right and what's wrong act right, do right, and nothing bad comes your way. You know what I mean? So, just like, something, something's happened in this industry and it's, it's directly, it's a double-edged sword because it's, social media is a great thing because I get to communicate with people and help people and people are on their phone watching this right now or on their laptop, whatever. So it's a, it's a great thing. We're all being able to like interact, but it's like, it's also a, the other side of that sword is like now everybody thinks they have something to contribute. But I hate to break it to you, a lot of you guys out there and girls, like we've all seen a stiff leg deadlift before. We don't need to see you do it. We don't need to see this guy do it. We don't need you to perform a bicep curl. We've been doing that for decades. Unless you got something new to add to the fucking repertoire of like how to do this or why we're doing this or like a different way to do it might be time to put the camera down and just actually work out, get a physique worthy of looking at. And then people will be like, well, how did you build this body part? How did you develop such a great back, a great chest, a great whatever? Then you'll have a platform for, like, to stand on and people will be like, oh, we wanna learn from this person. It's just like pumping out this endless content of, like, of videos of exercising. Like, we've seen that shit. Everyone's seen it. We've seen a lat pull down. We've seen a fucking leg extension. So like, think about different ways of doing things. Think of things of, think of ways that make you different or that can like progress the sport or progress individuals who follow you and then go from there. Just don't like aimlessly posting shit and like acting like you're part of the bodybuilding world. Half these people don't even bodybuild. They literally just lift because they're Instagram lifters and like think that they're like just motivating the masses of people by performing this like stiff leg deadlifts or fucking barbell curls in like a in a fucking bodysuit or whatever the fuck you're wearing short shorts as a dude just like just this desperate need for attention needs to go man like if you're good enough people will, will know about you they will learn about you and they'll want to learn more right so just keep that in mind don't always be the one talking about yourself when I train it's like it's not the once I go home and like I'm done working out for the day or whatever it's not like my, my overarching, the feeling of like feeling good or 
like I've accomplished something isn't completed by me like posting my latest training tips. It's like when people go home, like real bodybuilders, real people lift weights, it's like one of the best feelings in the world is doing like a hard leg day. Not that this leg day I'm doing is hard at all, but back when you used to like, when I used to really push like hard leg days, going home after a leg day and like laying on the couch and just like knowing that you're fucked. Like just knowing the next day when you wake up, it's gonna be bad, right? It's like as fucked up as that is, that's like one of the best things about bodybuilding, I think. Like I can remember like vividly like feelings I felt like just like being able to like getting out of my car after a leg workout, like going upstairs and going to my house and just being like, Ugh, like I mean, or just eating a fucking shit ton of food, knowing that I need to get my calories back up, like help myself recover. Like these are the exciting things to real bodybuilders and real lifters or like looking in the mirror and still holding a pump from like a chest workout that happened four, four hours ago. Like you still feel full and like round, you know what I mean? Like this is the stuff that is like every bodybuilder who's a real bodybuilder and like really enjoys the gym, they can identify with that. The rest of these people, I don't know what the fuck you're doing it for. But it's like, maybe you get those feelings too. I'm just interested, I'm interested to know like, what is like people who follow me, like what is your, what is like your favorite body part to train and what is your best feeling like coming from the gym? Whether it's like, you did a crazy back workout, you feel your back's pumped or your arms are like, you did such a great arm workout, your arms are cramping later on, whatever it might be, right? Leg day like I used to. It's just like, I think people, the more discussion needs to start happening about that and how, why people enjoy the gym and why they come here. Not just for like this, like these people like, well, at least we're here and this is my safe space and all this stuff. It's like, yeah, man, all that stuff's great, but we're like, Go deal with that in your crisis group. Like we're working out in here, right? Like this is people who like working out, lifting weights. Like it's not here to save you. It's like, it's here to be like something you enjoy and something you're passionate about. It's not meant to, to, to divert you from some other path that's very like negative that you're trying to stay off of. It's great if it is, but I mean, I'm not talking to you. you know what I mean, like I'm talking about real bodybuilders, real lifters who like lifting, like love to see changes in their physiques. Love the feeling of like a good pump. Love the feeling of like having fucking like baby fucking deer legs when they get up from like squatting or fucking hack squatting, leg pressing. Like what is the feeling that people chase and what is the like kind of your marker for what lets you know you had a good workout? And like how do you, at the end of the day or at the end of the session when you're driving home, you get home. Like this is the stuff that people need to share with each other, like the enjoyment of the sport. It's not just all about like, oh, my arms measured 22 today and I did this, I did this fucking drop, I did this drop set and this fucking push pull day with this and this and this and like all this technical shit. It's like, yeah, but what is it that you loved about it? What is it that got you pumped to be in the gym? What, like, what about that workout for the rest of your day made you happy or made you feel like you accomplished something? Like this is the stuff that real lifters think about and real lifters do. It's not just like, as soon as we're done working out, well, let, let me calculate my next workout. And I did this today, so I've got to go up to this next time. And like, this is my only, I'm a robot. I only think about things in terms of like absolutes. It's like, oh, like, what do you, do you like to do fucking legs and like hammer yourself into the fucking ground and then go and get a pizza after? <laughs> or like go to Five Guys and smash like two burgers and a thing of fries, like with your fucking friends or your girlfriend or whatever. Like that's the shit people need to be looking at. Because that's the stuff that makes this that makes this a community. It's not about sharing these bullshit scientific fucking ways of working out and fucking, this is how we do our lat pulls now, even though I have no fucking back, yet I know lats. It's like, you guys like are missing the point. It's like when football players, even if they're in the NFL, let's say, I would be willing to bet. Like when they're done the game, they're not talking about like, oh, next game, you know, I'm really gonna, I'm really gonna jam right to the left and I'm gonna turn here. I, my thing is just like, no, man. I'm just happy to be done. I had a fucking good workout or good game in their case. It's like, now I'm going to go live my life. This is a part of my life I enjoy. So I treat it like I enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not in here like trying to calculate shit all the fucking time. Or like right when you leave here, it's like how many macros do I have left today that I could recover with? And it's like, 
especially in the off season. Like I understand like dieting, getting ready for shows. You can't really, can't really go too crazy after a workout or a hard workout where you could like kind of pig out. But like, that's the shit people should look forward to when they're dieting. It shouldn't be like this fear of food or fear of like being a normal person or enjoying yourself. It's like, this is supposed to be fun. Like we like fucking torturing ourselves. We're mentally fucked up people, right? And it's like, embrace it. Awesome bodybuilding feeling that only bodybuilders will understand. It's like after you, after you compete, which for me was the last time I competed was a very long time ago. So I'm never gonna get this feeling again. But is when you like, that rebound after a show is one of the best things ever. Like it's one of the most uncomfortable fucking things ever. But like to see like the body like reanimate after that and like come to life. Yeah. And like that feeling you get where like every day you're in the gym and you're literally like seeing, like your skin feels like it's gonna rip. Like that's a fucking, that's a feeling. And like guys are, guys are afraid of that now. Like they're almost like, they're so scared to get, like they think their body fat level is just gonna go flying up, which is not even fucking possible for it to go up that fast. Just water retention, right? It's like they're missing out on like one of the best growth opportunities you can ever have as a bodybuilder. So you gotta think, say you dieted for 16 weeks and you pushed your, you pushed your supplements really high and you're on different shit you've never been on, you're cycling all these different things at one time. So you're hitting like, your body is like, your levels let's say are topped out in terms of your anabolic and like androgen threshold. Like you're like a fucking walking, like you're Incredible Hulk, the equivalent, right? Yeah. And then you're like, and then you go to the gym after the show and that shit doesn't just disappear from your system, it's still in your system. Like it's not leaving you, leaving you. So you have all this drug in you and now you've introduced all this new food and calorie and you don't think that's a recipe for you to fucking balloon up like at least 10 pounds? Yeah, maybe all, all muscle obviously, but it's like you're gonna really fill out again and like hit body parts and like really blow things out and kind of set the tone going into your off season. So it's like, yeah, I went the lowest I've ever been, I jumped back up real quick and then I kind of leveled off. I got that little burst and then I kind of chilled out and then I, now I'm starting to watch what I'm eating and cutting back on like the, the little treats and the fucking indulgences, right? So I think that's like another amazing feeling in bodybuilding people don't talk about anymore and guys are almost shamed for it. The guys who do do it when they rebound after shows like so-and-so will do the Olympia or like whatever and then you'll see and then like two months later, he's blown up huge. Like, is it too much? Is it too much? It's like, no, it's not. And your ass did it too. These guys that critique these guys, like, no, I'm not starting to start shit with like guys online, but all everyone who reports bodybuilding online has been a bodybuilder. There's no, and except for like Nick Strength and Power, who I think he maybe did amateur shows or I don't know what he's done. He's lived that, lived the lifestyle, I guess. But like, aside from him, a lot of them are like, we're top level amateurs or, or even pros. You know you did that shit. Why the fuck are you shaming these guys for doing it? Like, are you mad because you can't do it anymore? Are you jealous because you don't have that size anymore? You can't lift like that. There's issues you have. Well, you're also fucking older. And these people are young and in their prime. Don't shame them for doing what it takes to be a bodybuilder. And don't make them fear life and like living, like putting on size, like especially a kid who's like in his mid twenties, even early thirties. like. These kids are fucking, they're in their prime growing time, right? So you're, now you're making them afraid of it. Oh no, he's getting too big too fast. It's like, but then you see whoever they're talking about, it could be new, numerous guys they've spoken about, and they look healthy as fuck. Walking around nice and calm. They even post their blood work and they're like, yeah, I'm good, man. Like, I feel great. It's like, and then you're, shit, you're trying to start the shit storm of fucking like, oh, everybody, Bodybuilders need to tone it down, man. Tone it down. Because, yeah, there's always outliers in every sport who are doing too much, right? There's also MMA guys who, instead of sparring once a week, spar five times a week and get CTE and fuck themselves up and get hurt all the time. 
because that's how they choose to be. But the intelligent guys train intelligently. This isn't this isn't locking out my knee, by the way. When people see me do this on fucking camera, I'm not locking my knee out. I'm on my quad. I can be on my heel. I can be on my toe. I can be wherever the fuck I want to be. And I'm on my quad. My knee's not locked out. It's bent. These people are like, you lift, every time he lifts his toes, I feel like his knee's going to snap. I was like, well, look, guys. It's not, because it's on my quad. It's like, understand that like your foot can move with the weight and cradle the weight and you can lock on quad to press. A lot of people when they, there's a lot of standing leg curls in a lot of gyms. Some of them are pretty shit. This one's actually really good. But they'll be up tall here or hold on here and they'll just rock through, which is fine. You're gonna get it. But a lot of people, when they kick, their, the top of their quad leaves the pad and there's more pressure here. So it's almost like they roll up off the pad and they kick and they roll and kick through. So I actually feel like I'm lower, my weight's down in my foot and I'm really pressed down. So I'm holding this almost like a concentration curl where I would, the bench would be behind my, bi, behind my bicep on my tricep and I'm just gonna crack up. So I wanna create that quick grab and then use all the pressure pushing back into here. So my top to my quad and my, my knee is pushing into here and I'm rocking up through. So it's a tighter, more concentrated curl. Cause I have a lot of weight down on here. I'm barely holding on here. I'm just balancing here, but I'm driving down so I can keep my hip stuck down and I can just sweep my foot up. Cause I can feel like the flatness, like I could feel if I was off here and my foot was not, if my leg wasn't flat against this pad. So I can feel I'm flush with it right now. That's why I can get this lean. I can almost feel like I'm leaning and I'm flush against the pad. So I almost hyperextend a bit and then rock. And all these guys were like quick out of the hole, quick out of the hole. It's like, let the hamstring, let the tension like build, rock. Hold that tension, rock, rock. Don't be in such a rush to go. Like let the, let that bicep hang, curl that bicep up. Don't just be in midair. Bump, 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 bump. I want people that follow me or fuck with what I'm doing. Instead of tagging like my name or whatever you might be tagging. I don't know what people are saying. People are saying some pretty funny shit though. But it's like, just start in, like hashtagging or even writing your messages. Like if you're a part of this movement and this whole day idea of getting bodybuilding back to being bodybuilding and something that's literally like there's another brand that says it's for us not for everybody else or some shit like that like this is really that shit ain't for you guys man i hate to break it to you like we ain't fucking uh men's physique competitors we're bodybuilders right and this is for us bodybuilding is for us you can keep whatever the fuck that is you got but this shit's for us right so just start tagging that shit and dropping that and comments you make I'll appreciate it. Let's me know who's with me. Let's everyone else know who's with them, right? So, wicked few. Merch coming soon. <laughs>